Welcome to another exciting episode of Earth Check. My name is Anne Mashari and today's episode, our focus is on cocoa fuel. What do I mean by cocoa fuel? This is a type of energy that is environmental friendly and does not have any health implications to you. Cocoa Network is a venture-backed technology company operating in East Africa and India. They build and deploy dense cocoa products of cookers and fuel inside of local corner stores, which serve as consumer access point for goods and services delivered in partnership with major suppliers. The consumer solution is a liquid ethanol cooking fuel, which delivers significant cost savings and quality of life improvements in the multi-billion dollar market for urban cooking fuel. Thanks Rachel for making time. We really Thank want you. as many Kenyans would want to know how is this, what is the product and how does it operate. Okay, so the name of the product is Cocoa Fuel mm -hmm. and Cocoa Fuel is a liquid fuel, it's a liquid biethanol fuel mm -hmm. that we are distributing within Nairobi to start with, with uh, an opportunity to scale up to the rest of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And we really are very excited about this product. It's an innovative product. It's mm -hmm. a new way of delivering cooking fuel in Kenya. Mm -hmm. It's very safe, very clean, and um, it uses uh, technology that has been developed in Kenya. Mm -hmm. The first in the world developed in Kenya by Kenyans. Mm -hmm. So cocoa fuel is delivered through this uh, machine, which is called a cocoa point. Mm -hmm. Essentially what it is, it is a fuel ATM. It oh, dispenses yeah. ATM. Yes, it's a fuel oh. ATM. Just like you go to an ATM to get cash, mm -hmm. it dispenses fuel instead, not cash. Okay. So these ATMs are going to be located within 700 agent shops mm -hmm. across Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And a customer, when you want to buy your cooking fuel, you will come to our agent shop, which will be clearly branded, Cocoa Agent. Mm -hmm. And then that agent will have this machine, the Cocoa Point, and it is where you'll be able to buy your fuel from. Okay. To buy your cocoa fuel, Oh. Just bought in this canister. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's a very safe, airtight canister, mm -hmm. as you can see. You cannot yeah. really pour it. Mm -hmm. And then, once you have your canister, okay. which you should have purchased previously with our cocoa cooker, mm -hmm. and you want to purchase fuel, you go to a cocoa agent shop. Mm -hmm. You'd open this dock, and then you dock your canister there. Okay. By docking, you twist, and then when it clicks to lock, mm -hmm. it is now able to dispense your fuel. We have this screen here that will be able to showcase your account. Mm -hmm. So initially when you sign up, you sign up with your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. Once you enter, you put your canister here, it will pick up your details. Hi Anne, welcome to Coco Fuel. How much would you like to buy? You enter in the Demo. amount that you want to buy, and it will dispense onto the canister. Okay. And when you're done, the same way you dock it in, you just twist it slightly, okay. remove it from the machine, close your canister, and, take, go home. and then you go home with your canister. Okay. So this will be located in 700 shops countrywide, I mean within Nairobi to start, but will later on scale through to the rest of Kenya. And most of, or maybe some, just to answer some of this, how, how, for how much? 10 bob 20. So now at, at, at Coco, we're very supportive of the Kidogo economy. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that it's affordable for a wide range of Kenyans. So for now, you can buy for as little as 35 bob. 35. Yes. So as little as 35 bob, you'll get your fuel, you'll be able to go home, and you'll be able to prepare a meal with the fuel that you bought for as little as 35 bob. All right. Yes. So that's it after that. And, and the, um, how does one purchase this? Am I, does, the person who is interested in the fuel purchases with the store or does it come? So now, I'll bring you to the cocoa cooker. Mm -hmm. When you purchase, this comes as a package. Oh, yeah. So it will be going for 6999 mm -hmm. You get the cocoa cooker and the canister. Both and you them. get 500 shillings worth of fuel. Mm. The cocoa cooker is a modern cooker high-powered cooker it has two burners as you can see 
you can that means you can prepare two meals at the same time as opposed to the options that only provide you with only one option. Mm -hmm. Now when you come home, I've showed you how you get the fuel yes. from the cooker agent. Mm -hmm. You come with your canister, when you come home, you open this hatch onto your cooker. And in the same way that you dock your canister onto the fuel ATM, mm -hmm. you dock it right here on the cocoa cooker and it will start to dispense the fuel. Now the cooker has a valve system that will distribute fuel on both sides. Awesome. So this burner will get fuel and this burner will also get fuel. And when it's done, done dispensing, it has an automatic sense on the inside, it mm -hmm. will stop dispensing. And then the same way you twist it, you remove your canister and close it. Okay. So now you've dispensed fuel into your cooker. It has a safety feature, but once you're dispensing fuel, or once this hatch is open, mm -hmm. you cannot switch on your cooker. So if the children are playing around, it's very safe, you won't be able to switch it off. After you have closed the hatch that distributes the fuel, because mm -hmm. just like any fuel, it's flammable. Yeah. Now you are able to switch on your cooker. So it has three heat settings. We've got low, medium, and high. Like now I've switched on this particular burner. Mm -hmm. You just light it, and there is your flame. It's instant. Mm -hmm. You put it on, mm -hmm. and you're ready to cook your meal. And like other options, like charcoal, which takes some time to actually yeah. get ready. This one instantly it's ready and if you put your hand there you can see it's quite hot. It operates like a normal gas cooker. Just like gas. It has a clear blue flame which is delivers fast and efficient cooking. Mm -hmm. It's clean, there's no fumes as you can see, there's no soot that is produced, so your sufriers will not get dirty with the uh, soot fuel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's environmental friendly and it's very environmental friendly. As you can see there are no fumes, you can't yeah. see smoke coming up. So there's no indoor air pollution that will be caused from the fumes. Yeah. There's no soot that is coming out. Otherwise, you'd see that our pan will be lined with black. Yeah. It's very clean. So it's, it's environmentally safe. It's a clean fuel. And what made uh, what the brains behind this? Because this is an innovation that, you know. Yes, as expensive is world fast and developed within Kenya. Yeah. And of course, the thinking behind it is that there's so many majority of, 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 of Kenyans cannot afford gas can't afford electric cookers and the only options they have available are charcoal, kerosene firewood. or firewood yeah. which are very inefficient and also very unsafe mm -hmm. because they lead to indoor air pollution and can cause serious health issues. Yeah. So we said you know there must be a way. We are a technology company. Surely we can use technology to provide a more affordable solution mm -hmm. but it is also clean and that's what Coco Fuel is. It's affordable, you can get it for as little as 35 bucks. Yeah. So a wide variety of people can afford it. The cooker itself also compared to LPG gas and cylinders is quite affordable. So, and the, the, the flame itself, as you can see, it's mm -hmm. very clean, it's instant. So the time that you use to prepare meals, getting charcoal ready, getting firewood that is cut out. So it's a cleaner, safer, more affordable solution that is available for a wide section of Kenya. So that was the motivation behind it. Helping us, getting us to use our technology, to ensure that we provide a better life um, for most Kenyans. And what's the feedback to people who have used this type of... We've got very positive feedback mm -hmm. uh, from our customers. Uh, we started with a pilot project that had, had about a thousand customers. Mm -hmm. And with those customers, we developed the product, we improved it, um, we moved from uh, version 1 and now we are at version 6. So it will go through a lot of research and research and development to make sure that we actually have a great product that okay. we can offer to the market. Okay. So, um, because there's always the, competi the competition between LPG and this one, how yeah. do you handle that? As? I mean, LPG is a very clean gas, yeah. uh, just, just like uh, cocoa fuel. Mm -hmm. So, um, in terms of competition, I think competition is healthy. Yeah. It's, it's about making sure that we serve as many people as possible. Um, LPG serves a particular cross-section of the market. We're also serving a particular cross-section of the market. At the end of the day, if we as Kenyans are able to have clean solutions, whether it's ethanol, whether it's LPG, and we're not using dirty cooking fuels, I think that's a win for everybody. All right. Nice work, creature. I do appreciate the little Thank work you. that you're doing. Thank I you. think it's even, someone can't even notice. Again, that's why we say it's a clean fuel. Oh my God. It's a very clean fuel. There no, there's no smoke. The whole time we've had it on, there's no smoke, there's no fumes coming mm -hmm. out of yeah. it. It's a very clean, affordable solution, and it's instant. Already, by now, I'll give them your probably be halfway ready. That, and how can people purchase this product? Okay, so we, like I explained, we have um, these machines, the Cocoa Points, within our agent locations, 700 agent locations within Nairobi. Yeah. You can come onto 
any agent and purchase your cocoa cooker from there, which will come with a canister. Oh, okay. And once you do that, you'll be able to set up an account onto the cocoa point. And once your account is set up, you're able to buy fuel. You can also download our app if you have oh, a right. smartphone, and then you can buy the cooker set, create your account, and buy the cooker through our app. Oh, okay. We can also go onto our website. Same thing, you're able to on our website, download the app. And buy I was looking out for those millennials who are always on their phones. Exactly. So, so your smartphone can also get you your Coca Cola. All right. Many thanks, Rachel. You're doing a great job. I Thank do really so appreciate it. Thank you so much. We are very excited about it, and we really hope um, we're able to introduce more clean cooking yeah. uh, to save our environment All and right. our health. Exactly. And uh, probably after this, and there, we really want to have a sit down just to expound on more and sure. you know everything about this because really it's nice you know sure. like something that you know it's that. the first time I've, I've come across this oh it um, is it's it, like i said it's it's world fast yeah within kenya so other solutions were providing the fno in bottles distributed in bottles which was quite unsafe they yeah. leak they can leak they can actually combust but this is a safe cleaner option that we're really excited about all right thanks rachel thank you so let's much let's have a sit, sit down after this you basically now have an idea of what cocoa fuel is and how it operates. But now we need to have a sit down with Rachel who will explain to us the idea behind it and what cocoa seeks to address. Welcome back. Now in this segment we're talking to Rachel who will expound and explain to us why it is important to invest in clean energy. Uh, first, just a brief introduction of who you are and what you do. Okay. My name is Rachel Molinde. I am the PR and Communications Manager here at Google Networks. Okay. And uh, we had talked about the process and everything but now we want to know because Coming up with such kind of a product, obviously there's a problem you identified. Yes. Which one, which one was this? And that is the problem of dirty fuels. And by dirty fuels, I mean charcoal, I mean firewood, I mean kerosene. These fuels are very inefficient, but because of their affordability, they are what is accessible to the ordinary manainchi. Preparing food from charcoal and firewood, as you know, is very difficult. It requires a lot of preparation with pepeta, sijui fanyanini, and also, there's a lot of smoke that is produced. This smoke that comes from these fuels is attributed to indoor air pollution. Yeah. In fact, we have reports from both the Ministry of Health in Kenya and the World Health Organization that says 21,000, approximately 21,000 people in Kenya die every year mm -hmm. from complications related to indoor air pollution. That means 400 people every week in Kenya dying from indoor air pollution that can be attributed to cooking with um, firewood, with charcoal, with kerosene. So that is at the scale of the problem, and that is an alarming number for me. 400 people every week, and you know, f cooking is a, a necessity. Yes, yeah. we, we need food, so we need to cook in order for us to have that food. So we cook for our families, we cook for our children, and to think that this thing that we're doing out of necessity could be killing us is very alarming, and that is why for us at Coco, it's important that we came up with a product that actually enables us to cook for our families, to cook for ourselves, to sustain our lives, but in a clean, safe, and affordable way. All right. Now, that one of the mentions of Coco is to provide the clean energy, which how important is it just to break it down for an ordinary monarchy? So, clean energy, um, it could be energy for anything, but here, especially clean energy for cooking, yeah. means that you have a solution or you have a fuel that does not emit fumes, yeah. carbon um, uh, fumes, carbon emissions that affect the environment. Mm -hmm. And those carbon emissions not only affect the environment, but they affect the health. Mm -hmm. Complications such as pneumonia, um, lung cancer, heart disease, pneumonia, especially for children under the age of five, mm -hmm. is very, very prevalent. Okay. So those emissions that come out of these cooking fuels from charcoal, from kerosene, from firewood, uh, can be, actually have been attributed to cooking with those uh, fumes. 
But then again also there's the issue of deforestation because to obtain these fuels, to obtain charcoal, to obtain firewood, you must cut trees down. Okay. And if you cut trees down at that scale, because we're feeding a, a nation, if you yeah. cut trees down at that scale, there's an impact on the environment. Rainfall patterns are affected, and that is why you see drought happening, soil erosion occurs, meaning that our soils can no longer hold uh, nutrients, can no longer hold water mm -hmm. to ensure good uh, yields uh, that are uh, obtained after every season. Yeah. So at the end of the day, through rainfall patterns changing, through the effect on soil, through effect on agriculture yields, food security is at risk. So through droughts, we'll have situations where there's not enough um, food available for everybody. And when there's not enough food available, hunger um, comes into play. So there's a huge, huge impact that can be attributed to um, using these fuels. All right. Rachel, I was about to ask you something about this fuel. And uh, apart from, you know, the ATM and everything, the production of this fuel, yeah. what does it entail? So... Liquid ethanol is mm -hmm. a byproduct of the sugar Oxy, industry. Yeah. It's made from molasses. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to have that fuel, it means that sugar has got to be produced, mm -hmm. which is a good thing yeah. because that means that farmers have an outlet to sell their sugar. And not only have an outlet, but they're able to sell it on a bigger scale. If yeah. the demand is high, they produce on a bigger scale. That means more income for them means more income within the economy, mm -hmm. which is a definitely a good thing. Unlike uh, charcoal and kerosene that you require to cut down trees, here you're actually putting back into the community, you're putting back into the economy and developing other areas of the economy, not just the cooking industry. All right. yes. With this breaking down of the, you know, we've closed Chemilil, we've closed so many sugar companies, Rachel, where are we getting this sugar from? So currently there are four factories within Kenya that mm -hmm. produce by ethanol mm -hmm. and as I explained with the demand increasing especially coming in from cocoa fuel mm -hmm. we'll see some of these factories that were initially closed perhaps rethinking their oh. business uh, okay. strategy and reopening because the demand exists. Mm -hmm. Of course I'm, I, I cannot comment on the reasons why they closed yeah. uh, as a company I can't do that but when they, where there is demand definitely the business opportunity exists for both previously existing companies mm -hmm. and new existing companies. Mm -hmm. But beyond just Kenya, because right now the demand exceeds what we can produce within Kenya, yeah. our fuel partner, who is Vivo Energy, mm -hmm. they're the ones who manage the Shell branded fuel stations, yeah. they source uh, internationally as well, right. just to ensure that we have a reliable supply of fire. All right. Now, I've seen um, you're part of the team. Means there's so it's, it's a platform where people have got jobs. How many, how many people does... Currently within Kenya, we have about 250 staff members okay. uh, spread within our corporate offices mm -hmm. and our production facility. Mm -hmm. We've got a production facility in Babadogo that assembles the cocoa points, the fuel ATMs, and that has about 200 staff members working there day in, day out to ensure that cocoa fuel is a safe product. All right. And uh, just, this could be our parting shot. Just what, an, what advice would you give those people who still are still stuck to the notion that, you know, timber and firewood have uh, been brought up knowing this and charcoal? What, what would you say to them? I would say embrace cocoa fuel. Yeah. Embrace cleaner, safer, affordable options for yourself, for your family. Because cocoa fuel, as I explained, has no fumes, it produces no soot, it requires no deforestation, so the environment is um, safeguarded. It's a cleaner, more affordable, safer option for you and your family. Yeah. And is that, that is what we should be embracing. Mm -hmm. Let go of dirty fuels that create uh, carbon emissions that impact on our environment. Let go of dirty fuels that are inefficient, that require a lot of preparation, that you know, emit fumes and impact on the environment and our health as well, and embrace cleaner, safer, also more affordable solution. All right. It's, it's, it's a no-brainer. All right. Many yeah. thanks, Rachel. Thank for you so much, time. Anne, and, and I hope people will now embrace, you know, it's, let's not be stuck to the traditional way of, you exactly. know, cooking and all that stuff. Let's embrace change and follow more with technology. Definitely. Many. And embrace it with cocoa fuel. All right. Many thanks for sparing your time Thank just you to so talk much, to our Anne. viewers about cocoa fuel. Well, that's all we had for you in today's episode. My name is Alma Sharia. I hope you've learned something about clean energy and how you can purchase cocoa fuel. Until next time, stay tuned for another exciting episode. Happiness that the surrounding breeze Take care of the nature Before it takes care of you Ooh, Take care of the nature for
Sorry takes care 